welcome to today's video. I'm super excited about this one because I don't think I've ever done a video quite like this. But as you know, I like to mix it up on my channel and a bunch of you guys said that you were excited to see this. Basically, I have not bought new summer clothes in like years honestly this summer i'm now living in texas and you can't really get away with wearing like leggings and long sleeves in the summer here so i was kind of forced almost to get a new summer wardrobe but i'm actually super happy about that because i'm excited to like wear shorts and tank tops and crop tops and sandals and all of that good stuff finally because it all fits me and it's flattering and yeah i'm stoked about it so all this stuff, there's a huge pile next to me. You can see like a sliver of it. So I'm gonna show you guys everything that I got and then also try it on so you can see what it looks like on because those are my favorite to watch. So I'm gonna do that for you guys too. If you hear Rosie whining in the background, just please try to ignore it. She is in her crate and not happy about it. She's just being like a wild child today slash lately. So please just ignore. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the stuff that I got from Lulu. So my main purpose of my shopping trip virtually to Lulu's was to get stuff for my cousin's wedding which is this weekend and then also get stuff for like the business mastermind event that I'm going to the following week so I wanted like nice pretty dresses and stuff that was a little bit more dressy than I would typically wear. Another occasion that I'm shopping for is that a bunch of my friends and I are going to Cabo in July so I want stuff that's like beachy and casual but really cute and like comfy stuff that I will feel able to relax in but also be like Instagram worthy you know what I'm saying most of these things are pretty wrinkled so please excuse that but like I said they've been in this giant pile the first thing that we're going to talk about is this cute little orangish red dress it has long sleeves and a little slit at the front it's not like too revealing or anything but it just gives it some shape a nice waistband and then it also has a nice open back and I am in love with this. The next dress that I got is actually a two-piece set. So the skirt is just like a long maxi skirt and it's actually just like a tie skirt so it's like a big giant piece of fabric and then you just wrap it around yourself and tie it to the desired tightness and then obviously it has a slit because it's a tie thing. And then the top is like a lace-up top so I love that because I do have a bigger rib cage slash I have back muscles so typically I have to like size up a lot in tops but then they're too big in my boobs which you can totally avoid if you have a lace-up top so the front is just a slight little v-neck and then the back just laces up like I said which makes it fully adjustable and easy to fit to my bod. The only thing I don't like about this is that it's not, it's lined but there's no padding or anything and so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do with my boobs in this. I prefer to have a little something something. Okay, next dress. I'm not really sure how I feel about this one yet because when I tried it on the first time, I wasn't wowed, but I feel like maybe with the right accessories it'll be cute. So it's this light pink floral print kind of like off the shoulder dress and I really like the print. It looks really cute on the model, but I don't I just I don't think the off the shoulder look is very flattering on me because I do have very broad athletic shoulders, I guess, and I feel like most of the girls that look cute in this have like dainty shoulders with like little arms and that's not me. This next dress is kind of like the main event because this is what I'm planning to wear to my cousin's wedding. It is this gorgeous fuchsia color, I guess. It's a long maxi dress. I feel like calling it a maxi dress kind of downplays it because it is pretty fancy. The back is my favorite part about this. Again, it laces up. A big problem that I have with dresses is that they don't fit my back slash rib cage and this does. So the only thing I had to worry about was if it would fit my waist and it's a little stretchy so it does fit my waist perfectly and yeah I'm a really big fan I feel like a princess in this and by the way I will go ahead and tell you what sizes I got and everything in case you're wondering this one is a medium this light pink dress is a medium this set the red set is medium and then the free people dress is 
an eight. <laughs> Yet another lace up top and I'm obsessed with this one and it does have cups like pads in it, thank the Lord, but it's a super cute embroidered little crop top, a really flattering v-neck and the colors in this embroidery are stunning. This is what the ties look like in the back. I just feel like this style of top is a lot more flattering on me than say like the off the shoulder ones. Another thing that I got on Lulu's that I feel like I can wear with the white top are these adorable little blue shorts and these are shorts, it is not a skirt, but I will warn you that you cannot take the fact that they are shorts as like a reason to be more liberal with your body and your movements because it's super super short and like if you bend over your entire butt cheek slash butt cheeks plural <laughs> will be hanging out. This is from the brand Jack by BB Dakota, again from Lulu's and again a size medium. Another little casual piece I got at Lulu's is this little cross front t-shirt. Got it in a size medium. I find that it's really flattering when crop tops have this little like tie, either a tie or a twist or some sort of detail at the waist. It just kind of like gives the illusion of a smaller waist and it gives the illusion of like cinching your waist in and overall it i think it fits really well it's just like a cute way to wear something a little bit more exciting than like a plain t-shirt one more cute t-shirt i got from lulu's it looks really plain and boring from the front right it's just like plain white t-shirt but no the back is heckin adorable it has this little twist and it just kind of makes your back look cute and drapey and i love it i think it's really cute i'm gonna wear it with Lots of stuff. Next thing I got is this little intimately free people crop top thing. And I think you're supposed to be able to wear this without like a bra or anything underneath. But I definitely did not get that when I tried it on. So I'm going to try it on for you guys with a bra on. But I wanted this to be just like a cute layering piece. A simple piece that I could tuck into jeans or shorts or skirt. I just wanted to be like the perfect little neutral shirt and it's not really, it was not what I was expecting. So I think this is going to go back. It feels really soft, but just is not doing it for me in the way that I need it to. Thankfully though, I did get another white shirt and this one does do the job that I wanted. I feel like this might actually be even more of a flattering cut on me anyway. Um, it's super soft, it's a little more thick and I feel like I actually can wear a bra with this one whereas the other one was more of like a second skin and anything underneath it you're just gonna see. So this I am a fan of, the other one not so much. I got this one in a size medium. And I also got another Free People tank, and this one actually did work out. I really like this one. It is a very thick ribbed material, so it's it kind of holds you in without being like suffocating. And again, this cut is a lot more flattering on me, and this is the perfect little layering piece that I was looking for in the white one, but the black one actually worked. Oh, and this one is a size medium slash large. I would just way rather be safe than sorry with stuff like this. Like, no one likes being squeezed in by their crop top, so. From Lulu's are these tortoise hoop earrings, and I don't know how I feel about the hoop earring trend coming back, but I figured I would give it a try because I can't really, I can't make a decision without trying, right? So here are the earrings. My first impression is that they feel extremely cheap, and I feel like I paid not three dollars for them like i'd be willing to pay three dollars see this like literally just it just broke it just broke lulu's this what this is not okay i was gonna say that i'd be willing to pay three dollars for these but not anymore okay i think this might be the last lulu's thing i have to show you that worked out there are a couple like pants and shorts that didn't quite fit me right that's always a struggle with online shopping but i do really like these sunglasses they're kind of this muted dusty rose translucent color and then with some rose gold hardware. I think they're super cute. They're really they're really obnoxious and big, but like that's that's the vibe. I love these. I plan to wear them again on the beach in Mexico slash all the time because I really like them. I think that's everything from Lulu's. So we're going to take a brief intermission to some smaller orders and then we'll go into the Fashion Nova order, which was a little bigger. Smaller trip that I made was to Marshall's and I got this super simple black maxi dress. It is like a 
tank style, like a high neck tank style. And it's literally just a straight black maxi dress. But I wanted something like this that was super comfy and easy to throw on. That was like a little nicer than wearing leggings or sweatpants. But pretty much equally as comfortable. So again, I will probably wear this a lot in Mexico and probably at my trip. I got it in a size medium and it was $17. And then other thing I got at Marshall's are these Vince Camuto little booties. They have this really cute perforated leather detail and then the heel is kind of chunky, like it's almost a wedge but not quite, and then a cute little peep toe to let the pedicure peep through. Zipper at the back, of course. And yeah, I really like these. They're really comfy, and they are a great replacement for the not-so-comfy ones that I purchased last year. So for these like super girly dresses, I like to just toughen it up a little bit with something like this. Hold on, kombucha break. Hits the sole. Okay. Another small order I made was for these Free People bralettes. If you watched my May Favorites video, you already saw these, but they're basically just these really cute lacy bralettes. They have really bold but like delicate lace detailing, and I'm just in love with them. Super comfy. So I got both the black and the white. But I just, I just love these, and I can see myself layering them a lot. So for example, this black maxi that I got at Marshalls, like the front part really cuts in a lot, like almost shows too much armpit slash side boob but these go out quite a bit these bralettes so I can wear this black bralette under it and then it like totally solves the problem so I can lay it under dresses tank tops um even like wear it with shorts if I'm going to like a festival or a concert or something I don't really do that but in theory if I did I would be able to pull that off Another small purchase I made is this super cute bandeau top from Aerie. I just love the colors and the patterns on this. Makes the boobies look good and it's kind of the perfect tanning bikini because it won't give you any stripe lines. Speaking of bikinis, I got the cutest suit sent to me from 437 Swimwear, which is a brand out of Toronto, Canada, I believe, and they sent me the cutest set so there's this tie top and you it literally just ties shut and you can tie it to whatever tightness you need um there are no cups but it is like a good fabric that kind of holds you in and makes the girls look good regardless and then i purchased their straight across bandeau top because their bottoms are freaking amazing and i wanted to be able to get a bunch of use out of them so they're just plain black high-waisted bottoms but I will warn you, ladies, these are like a straight thong. So even though they're high-waisted and it looks like it's like a decent amount of fabric, it's not. <laughs> like, it goes fully up your crack and then most of the fabric is like above your butt. So just a heads up on that. I'm totally cool with it. Like, I will wear this in Mexico. I will wear this probably maybe if our apartment complex pool isn't very busy. I just don't like to wear like thong suits if there are going to be kids around just because their parents probably aren't super happy about that but when I'm in Mexico like the cheeks are gonna be out. Another bikini I got is from Champagne Swim and I freaking love this one like this might be my favorite one that I've gotten because it just feels super soft and it feels super well made like the 437 suit does too the fabric is like buttery soft but this one feels a little more secure I guess a little more substantial um, like it's not so much of a second skin, but it's still really soft and comfy and stretchy. I really love this suit. I've posted on Instagram a few times and you guys always ask me where it's from. It's from Champagne Swim. I think her website's under construction right now because she's getting ready to launch a new collection, but um, keep an eye out on that. And then the last one, Sue, I got this from Poshmark, but the company has like a website and everything. They just also sell on Poshmark. It's called House of Layers. I dig the high-waisted bottoms, if you couldn't tell already. I just feel like they're really flattering, especially if you have like shorter and curvier legs like I do. I think these are really flattering because they hit higher on your hip and really just accentuate your smaller waist and make the bum look good. So the bottoms are high-waisted and then y'all, the top is literally like a long ribbon and I don't really know how to work this yet. I'm gonna try when I try it on for you, but the model in the pictures looked so good in it and it was like really, really cute and unique. So I'm gonna try to replicate that, but they didn't send any instructions or anything. So when I opened it, I got this and I was like, um, excuse me. 
it feels really good it feels really well made the fabric is super soft love this color and overall i'm a fan as long as i can figure out how to put it on and then the last order I made was to Fashion Nova. I got a couple of pair of jeans that didn't work out. Like, I, their sizing is really inconsistent. So I have some jeans from them that I love and I wear all the time and they fit perfectly. And then I just got this pair and they were way too small and like not comfy at all. The things that I am super happy about are this lounge set, pants and a little hoodie. And they are this deliciously soft and stretchy marled gray knit fabric. I just love these for lounging around. Again, I'm trying to be a little cuter, but like not sacrifice comfort. And I feel like this is the perfect set for that. The hoodie has a nice little scoop neck and it's cropped and cute and hits you at the right spot. And then the pants have a nice thick waistband and they're nice and stretchy over the bum. I feel like they are flattering on the bum. So I got, I think I got a large in this set just because, yeah because I had heard that it ran kind of small and I wanted to make sure that the waist didn't like give any spillage or anything like that. I wanted to make sure that the waist was really comfy and then I also wanted to make sure that this wasn't too short. I think I probably could have gotten away with a medium, but I am glad that I sized up in these overall. Another thing I got from Fashion Nova, this was like very bold and daring for me because if you can tell, I don't make very like dramatic choices. <laughs> it is the boobies tee and I put this on and Andrew was like, you're not wearing that in public ever, are you? And I'm like, mm, probably not. Like, especially in Texas, I feel like people wouldn't really appreciate it. I mean, maybe if I went again to like a festival or someplace that was more like all young people who are hip and cool, but um, yeah, I... I don't know if I have the courage to wear this in public, but it is really comfy and cute and fun to wear like at home and lounging and as like a little pool cover up in Mexico, stuff like that. Let me know if you would wear this in public or not. Like tell me in the comments below if you would wear this in public. And if enough of you say you would, then maybe I'll build up the courage and let you know. The last thing that worked from Fashion Nova is another high waisted swimsuit. I know we are all shocked. It's this gorgeous cornflower periwinkle blue color. It has this ribbed material. It's not super nice fabric, I'm gonna be real with you, but it's fine. Overall, this suit is fine. I'm not wowed. There are no cups on the front. Like, the top is basically reversible because they used the same exact pattern for both sides, and I feel like that's kind of a cop-out because my boobs and my back are not the same shape at all. Like, why should they have the same exact cut out? I don't know. I'm just gonna keep it so it's cheap and it is a little bit more modest, a lot more modest than the other um, high-waisted ones that I got. So I would definitely feel comfortable wearing this around anybody pretty much. Although I will probably kind of take the fabric and give myself a wedgie because no one likes granny panty tan lines. Oh my goodness, you guys. I just finished trying on all these clothes and I'm so sweaty and hangry now. I really hope you like this video because trying on clothes is just like exhausting. Whether you're in a store or at home, I don't care who you are, that's freaking cardio. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like if you did. And definitely let me know if you wanna see more hauls in the future. Leave a comment down below, either your favorite piece that I got or your favorite store that I definitely need to check out. Leave a comment, I read them all and try to get back to as many of them as possible. So I would love to chat with you down below. Again, every single thing is linked in the description box. Some of them are affiliate links, so if you use them, I do get a very, very small kickback, but it doesn't cost you anything, so I really appreciate it if you shop through those. And I think that's gonna wrap it up, so don't forget to like the video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and tick the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. I love you guys so much, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye!